do babies come from? Welcome to the wonderful world of True Love series. My name is Linda Haft, and I'll be your host in the presentation of Mommy, Daddy, Where Do Babies Come From? Have your children ever asked that question to you? Do you feel at a loss for words when it comes to trying to give an answer? Well, this video was created with you in mind. The focus of this video is to put the miracle of life within the larger context of true love and family. It also emphasizes the fact that becoming a person of character who can take up the responsibilities of marriage and parenthood takes time and preparation. Now, I want to invite you and your family to relax as we journey into Jenny's warm and loving world. It was story time, and this evening, Jenny had a very important question. She asked her mommy and daddy, Where do babies come from? Jenny's dad smiled and said, That's a very good question, Jenny. Let me tell you about the wonderful world of true love that God created. Daddy sat on the edge of Jenny's bed, looking with tenderness upon his little girl, and said, we all are born little babies, and just like everything else in the world, we take time to grow. Remember how little Snowball was a year ago when Uncle Tony gave her to you? Jenny nodded and said, Yes, she was very tiny. But now, a few years later, she's a big dog, right? She's almost as big as I am. Mom added, it isn't just our bodies that grow, it's also our minds and hearts that grow by learning how to love. That's why we have a family. A family should be a school of love. Jenny, with surprise, said, Our family is a school? Dad said while smiling at Mom. That's right. During our lives, to be really happy, we have to learn to love many, many kinds of people. Just like a tree needs sunlight to grow, you need our love to grow in the right way. When you feel our love, don't you want to do something special for us? Jenny said with pride. Yes, that's why I made birthday cards for you all by myself. Dad smiled and said, When you show us your thoughtfulness like that, you make us really happy. Then Mommy asked Jenny, you liked it when Grandma and Grandpa visited us last week, didn't you? Jenny answered with excitement. Oh, yes. They tell the best stories. Next time they visit, I'm going to give them a big hug and a thousand kisses. That's why we need grandparents, because they know so much and have so many stories to share. Dad asked Jenny, You're glad you have Mike and Annie as an older brother and sister, aren't you? Raising one eyebrow, Jenny answered, Most of the time. When you share with each other, you are learning how to give. The more you give, the more you will feel your heart growing. Then Dad asked Jenny, You can tell how strongly your mom and I feel about each other, can't you? Jenny answered, looking at her parents, Especially when I see you hugging each other. This gives us both lots of happiness. But it doesn't come easily. It takes a lot of work. Mom added, That's the reason why our parents told us to wait until we were grown up and got married to try this kind of love. When your daddy and I finally did get married, we made a promise to always cherish and take care of each other. We hope that someday you and your future husband will make the same promise. Jenny asked, How was your wedding? Our wedding day was such a beautiful day in our lives. Because of our love for each other, we wanted to have children. That's why we were so, so happy when you and Mike and Annie were born. 
A little anxious, Jenny insisted. But, Mommy, how were we born? That's what's next. God put something special in men's bodies and in women's bodies to make babies. We call these private parts because they are not meant to be shown in public, but only to be shared between husband and wife when no one else is there. Jenny's eyes were wide open and she asked, Where are those private parts? Dad answered, You already know that boys and girls are different in between their legs. Of course I know that, Daddy. Well, those are your private parts. When boys and girls become older, those private parts change. Boys become men, and girls become women. Dad glanced at Mom, who smiled gently and took his hand while he said, The man and woman each has a kind of half of a puzzle. When they come together in love, a baby may begin to grow inside the woman. When a baby is growing inside the mommy, we say she's pregnant. Do you remember how big I got when I was pregnant with Annie? Yes, I do. But Daddy didn't get big. That's because God asked mommies to carry the baby in a special soft cradle inside their bodies called the womb. It's a safe place for the baby to grow. The daddy needs to take care of the mommy and the baby. Even though men and women are different, both are very important. Dad added, the private parts are one of the most awesome gifts God gave to us. This gift can bring men and women lots of joy and also beautiful children if they wait until the time is right to use it. But if they open up this gift too early, it will make them sad, like the time you ate that peach that wasn't ripe. Holding her tummy, Jenny said, Oh yes, I got such a bad tummy ache. Because your private parts are so precious, don't let anybody touch them. If anyone tries to touch you in that area, quickly run away from that person and call for help. Like this? Help! Yes, Jenny, very loud. Then Dad said, You see, to be ready to be a husband and wife takes a long time. Girls and boys shouldn't try this love until their hearts are grown up and they've gotten married. Otherwise, it would be like trying to ride a bike that's too big for you. You might fall off and get hurt. Using the private parts too early hurts many people. It also hurts their ability to love. Jenny interrupted with a frown on her face. But, Daddy, my friend Joanne's sister already has a boyfriend. Really? Jenny, that's very sad because she's still growing up. This is the time for her to prepare for her future family. Do you remember when your cousin Jimmy tried to drive his mom's car? <laughs> yes. He crashed in the garage <laughs> and got in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Dad continued. Getting married is harder than driving a car. It's not something a girl pretends with a boy. Love is not a game. Your friend doesn't understand how valuable love really is. But do you understand? Yes, I do, Daddy. Mom concluded. Jenny, take your time to grow up and enjoy your childhood. There's no hurry. The wonderful world of true love will wait for you. Jenny closed her eyes and barely heard Mom and Dad say, Good night, sweetheart. She was already dreaming of all the games she wanted to play tomorrow.
Thank you for watching. It was a pleasure being your host. We hope to see you soon, once again, in the wonderful world of True Love series. Sleep.